Hey, you guys, watch this video to learn how to ride the waves of the spring market, baby. Hello, welcome to the Hatch Homes Group's Monday Market Update. You have Michelle Daycomb, Renoff Grassini, and the newest member of our team, Eric McCormick. We are so excited to have him with his awesome experience. Get used to seeing his face. <laughs> so here we are. We are almost in the springtime, which is also the very hottest time to buy a house or sell a house. It's a very busy time, and we're going to show you why it is such a good time. We have three graphs that we're going to share and talk about. Randolph, take it away. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so the three graphs that we have here are the active residential listings, the new listings, and the pending sales. So I just wanted to kind of point out the trends, basically the active residential listings, new listings, they start to increase right in the beginning of the season. And also in accordance to those, those trends, you, you'll see that the pending sales will also start to increase. And pointing out January and February of this year, you can see that trend is already starting to increase in the pending sales. Obviously in the last, last year, we had a slight dip in February, but that trend continued to increase for pending sales. Mm -hmm. And then come wow. May, June, last year, at least, you can see where that dip happened. And I think we all know why, because the interest rates suddenly shot up, right? So that made a difference. But look how it recovered. I think that's interesting to see. Yes, true. So if you are thinking of getting on the market, now is the time. Why is that? You're going to beat that competition, right? You're going to have your house on the market, less other homes on the market. So you're going to hit the market prior to that, that competition. Yeah. This is right. like a sweet spot, right? Yeah, I because as you can see with those trend lines, more homes hit the market and and then there's uh, less activity too around the, around later in the year. So you're going to want to hit, hit that market strike while the iron's hot per se. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. So also, you know, just looking at the graphs and seeing how they're matching up and that's a good thing to see. But for sellers, it doesn't mean that your house is going to sell automatically. So take a look at our video next week. We're going to be talking about the five things you can do to help your house sell if it's not moving. Um, but again, we're in a sweet spot. And I also don't want buyers out there to get scared because I think that we have some memories of what happened in the previous markets. And there was like 25 offers. You had to offers, you know, way over asking and wave inspections and all the things. Um, but we're not really in that market anymore. And yes, it's, you know, increased competition the further into the spring we go, but with a good agent like us here at Hatch Homes Group, we can help you on the buy side. We can help you on the sell side and we know what to do to help you win. So reach out to us and we can set up a free consultation and see where you're at and help you along the way. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. We're here to help you. So obviously, we would like you to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you next week. Thank you.